All right, so we're going to do a bind. So anytime you hear the word bind, it's going to be a combination of sides and fronts and behinds. So if we do a bind, and then I will say whatever number. So a bind three, because waltz, everything's so, most things are done in threes in waltz. Because you have three, three in beats a measure. in a measure. A bind three, we're going to start with our side, we're going to go behind, we're going to go side. If we were to keep going, it'd be in front, side, behind, side, front, side, behind, side, front, side, behind, side, front. Side, behind, side, front. For however, whatever number is cute. Yeah, we're not going to do that many in a row typically. Most of the time, what you'll hear is a bind three or a bind six in waltz. I don't know that I've heard other numbers of binds. That's not bad either, honestly. So, a bind three, we do our side behind side, side behind side. So, binds always start with a side. The second step is always a behind. And then every other step stays aside, and then you alternate behinds and then fronts for the other step. So every odd step is a side, and every even step is either a behind or an in front, whichever one you didn't just see. What she said. See, I told you she knows it better than I do. So a behind three, side, behind, side. Sorry. You okay? Yep. You absolutely said three, and I was ready for six. I'm sorry. <laughs> so bind three is three steps. Bind three is three steps. Whatever number the cure says is the number of steps that you're going to take. So yes. And the cure should always say a number. Should. Doesn't mean they always will. But the cure should always say a number after that. So bind three, side behind side. Let's go ahead and give that a try.